Oh look! Shocking! I'm shocked. Totally shocked that the JCB is stuck. Alright, JCB. Hold on. I'll be over there in a moment. Ah. Alright, where are you? Oh no, you're not stuck. You're just screwing with me. You're just screwing with me, are you? Uh-huh. Screw you too. You done? You're done. Okay, good. Jerk. Make him think you were stuck. Word to the wise. Don't try to scratch your eye while you're backing up because you end up backing up like a fool. Alright. Well, it's not really what I wanted to do, but whatever. <laughs> I'll go the other way. Ah, back up some more, Noisy Melvin. There we go. What do we think? Like two more loads or three? Oh, we could look. One! One more load. <laughs> two more loads or three? No one, because I'm silly. I'm silly. Okay. Back her up. This vehicle is reversing poorly. Ah, this vehicle's crashing. Oh wow, ninety-nine. Woohoo! Over a hundred thousand dollars. Look at us. We are cool. We are totally dope fiends. No, we're silage fiends. We're something. We're farming fiends, but we are. We be farming foes. Farming foes. Ah, give me all of it. Give me all of it. Yeah, that's all of it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, I know Silas didn't accept it here. I know, I know. Go away. Okay. Oh my gosh, Noisy Melvin. Shut up. Good lord. You're a noisy, noisy tractor. You, you really need to be punished for your insolence. There. Hush. You're still working. You're still going. Yes, because you should be going. That is truth. Truth, man. Truth. We've all seen. Go. See how much money we end up with. Oh, look at my tractor. My trailer's doing a dance. One hundred and three and a half. No, not 103 and a half. Well, yeah, 103 and a half. Whatever, 103, 500. That's not bad at all. Oh, wait, I still got stuff in here. Oh, crap. Okay, <laughs> uh, you just wait there for a second. You. How you doing? How you doing? You're doing pretty good, actually. All right, go. Cool. All right. You done yet? No. We're almost there. 104,000. Ooh. Look at us. The 104,000 dollars. Okay. Come on. Really? I hate you. I'm gonna kill you. Just take the 44 liters. Thank goodness. Don't start engine. One hundred four thousand two hundred plus dollars. That's that's pretty darn sweet. 
Leave that there. And go this way now. All right, so what are we going to do with our $104,000? Well, we got to do a couple things. Well, and we actually have to... to uh, words. Plant. We have to plant. What in the world is... What, what kind of gibbon are you? Ugh. We have to plant our... Uh, our fields that we have finished thingamajigging, uh, cultivating. But, well, uh, well, I guess we should do that first, shouldn't we? Then we know how much money we truly have to proceed to do other fun and or interesting tasks. Thankfully, Mr. Staya here can actually haul the cedar. One dirty, a dirty deer. Oh dear. All right, so we had on this field over here, we had, what did we have? We had wheat, right? Oops. All right, so what do we sow after wheat? I can't remember. Do we sow canola? I think so. I think we sow canola. Canoli, oli, 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 oli. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, let's uh, remember how to use this thing. J applies the fertilizer. Okay. There we go. Nice. Nice, said the mice to the rice. I, I can't think of anything else to rhyme, so there you go. There you go. It's the best I got. It's the best I got, man. It's the best I got. All right, I can't see anything. Can't see anything. Now I can see stuff. All right. Think I might have missed a little bit of the corner, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I was okay with that. I was okay with that. It would be nice to maybe purchase a larger cedar down the road. Maybe one of the big folding rigs. Because while this John Deere is nice, I'm thinking a big folding rig would make everything a little bit easier. One, I could get it down all the lanes better. But two, it'd let me hit some of these bigger fields faster. Something to think about. Uh, maybe get a big cedar. I have to contemplate that one. You guys can let me know. Yeah. I gotta, well, I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll look out the, the various mods I've done and decide if there's even one worth me doing. Because if I, if I don't feel like I even have a cedar worth doing, then, well, we either have to go with an in-game cedar or we just stick with the John Deere. All right, we're done with the cannoli oli 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 oli. Cannoli. Actually, I think there's one spot. There it is right there. There, I got it. Whoa, there, tractor. All right. So we're done with the canola. Woo. Now, uh, we planted canola over there. So I believe we're on barley now for that, that spot over there. I need to go and fill my cedar. I put this trailer in a terrible spot. There's a shocker. Everyone knew I was going to do that. Ah. I'm surprised. I'm actually honestly very surprised that I made that turn. Ah, now the Ford. Now the crap and the stuff. And now the... the uh, really, this farmyard is not designed for the width of the cedar. Just saying. Just saying. All right, let's open up the little thing. That's for the fertilizer. Then so if I back in here and I hit R, I'll fill both simultaneously. Ah, look at that. It's a smart way to fill. All right, we're full. Go. 
Uh, looks like the just a bit is done, which is good. Well, not done, mind you, so much as sort of halfway done. Now I get to go and actually finish it because he's a given and doesn't actually properly finish his work, but what you get when you hire a bunch of gibbons. You should, you should definitely avoid the gibbons. Okay, I'm starting to think that I need to put another grass headland up on the top here, just to make it a little bit easier to cultivate and sow. So I might do that next time if I can remember. Er, I might not, but yeah, I think a little grass headland up there would be a good thing. Or do what I said uh, whenever I said it about just lengthening this field out with a, with a good plow job. That would involve buying a plow, of course, but sometimes you got to make sacrifices. $20,000 worth of sacrifice, but still sacrifice nonetheless. I do want to get in the corn and uh, and potatoes and sugar beets. Obviously, to get into those, I'm going to need a good bit of starting capital because I am not going to use the tow behind harvesters for the uh, potatoes or the sugar beets because that's insanity. Absolute insanity. So I need to save up the money for one of the Grimmies. It's pretty expensive expensive little endeavor. But I think we could do it. Corn will come easier, I think. I can't see corn with this, but I might use some stuff from the titanium pack, the, the cedar corny thingy toe behind stuff. The nice thing about corn is I can either sell it or chaff it into bio, uh, bio whatever. I can take it over to the silage pits. So that's, that's a good thought. Might have to look at that. We might just have to look at that. Last pass of this field anyway. Next field, I gotta finish the cultivation first before I can even seed it. And of course, as you can see, I have all 29% of my cedar, so. I'll probably seed until my cedar die, runs out of seed, and then we'll, um, we'll go and fill it up. No reason to fill it up first, because, well. I just don't think there's a reason, that's why. It's the only reason I've got. So that's the reason we're going to use. Do -do -do. Yeah, I don't I don't own that field, but that's okay, because I'm actually just trying to cultivate this field. Thank you. Alright, there we go. I got the zoom out to work. So we can get all of this stuff cultivated up. All nice and clean. Or at least mostly there, anyway. That's really all that matters, is mostly there. Alright. There's that side. Now let's run over and get the other side. And then we should... Be free and clear... To seed this field up in Bale. Parlay? It's kind of like parlay, only not. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Whee! Look at that. I flip it around perfectly. I'm a flipper. I'm a flipper. Oh, that's a, that's a fence. Woohoo! I think I survived. I think I'm alive. All right, we got we got you folding up, foldy, foldy, my little friends. All right, let's. Uh, yeah, I see that little spot, but I'm gonna ignore the little spot because I don't care enough. Just saying. That's not a fence. I should have turned there instead of gone straight. Just saying. 
Just saying. Ooh, turny, turny. All right, we'll put this guy up now before I forget. It's not like I'll really forget so much it'll get in the way of like a dozen other things before I get around to trying to put it up and then I'll be annoyed at it. And yeah, that's, that's never good. There we go. Very good. Very good. Good, 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 good. Stop. Off. Next. Nope, nope. You. Click. All right, let's go and work on some barley sewing. Get some barley sewing done. There we go. Mostly straightened out. Good. All right, well, we're out of seed, so let's run back and do that. Get some seed fill. Filling the seeds! The seeds of time! They go through the hourglass. No, that's the sands of time. Yeah? Yeah. Sands of time like an hourglass or some, some silliness. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Big shocker there, I know. And full. Very good. Very good. This is one of the bigger problems with the cedar. I've done two passes basically on the other side of the field and I'm already at 62% of seed. So I'm not probably gonna finish this field in, in and it's, I mean, I had 29% in the cedar when I got onto the field, I've already burned through almost 50% of my seed. And I'm not 50% done with this field. This is one of the reasons why I'm thinking, thinking I'm gonna need a bigger cedar before too long, cause this is not cool. Not cool at all. All right, this is basically the end of this load of seed here. So there's no reason for me to turn around. Yeah, uh, it's probably at least one more lotus seed. Ugh. Yeah. Big reason that I'm thinking for the new cedar. All right, let's get him sorted out here really fast. I don't care about the fertilizer lid. All right, let me look at uh, other direction. Oopsie. So the cheapest one I would be considering is 97,000. I could buy it, uh, but it's 97 grand. Uh, I think that's a bit much. That's in game. I'll go look. Yeah, I, I'm going to go look and see what what cedars I've done. And see if there's any decent enough ones out there that I'll throw in here. See if we can uh, get some a little bit bigger than the old John Deere here. And yes, for those of you that ask, I know I could hook more John Deeres together, but it's already a bear and a half to, to haul this thing around these uh, fields. If I hook another John Deere on here, it's, it gets wider, it gets more unwieldy and more difficult to turn. So I... That, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Does not make any sense. Could make dollars, but not sense. Random question. Has anybody ever played the jug? It's not a game. It's a musical instrument. You take a big old, like, earthware jug, and then you blow over the top, and you get that noise. Has anyone ever played that in, in like, a musical environment but not just because you're derping around because like I could do that right now because I got a thing going on um, but oh I just missed a spot oh well has anyone ever played one as like a band or something just, just thinking things I think about while driving yeah 
I knew somebody who played the wash the washboard. She had a, a little a pick like you do with a guitar, and she had one of those old timey washboards, and she'd play one. That's pretty interesting. She was weird, very weird. That's okay. Weird people are cool. <laughs>